Hey guys! So recently I had the utmost pleasure and I got to see The Human Centipede 2. I'm gonna review it right now. So my initial reaction while watching this film was... And then I was like... Ah! Oh! Then I was like... Ah! And then I was like... Ah! But then I was like... But then I was like... And then I was like... <laughs> so without giving too much away, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happens in this whole movie. So the film starts off with this little, little creepy bald man, and he's watching a movie. And then after the movie, he touches his face a lot. And he's touching some pictures, and then he touches his lips. And then he kills a guy. He clubs him right in the melon. And he goes back to touching his face. And then he goes home. Uh, so then the psychiatrist comes, and he's like, isn't the right size, because there's a centipede. Grips his leg firmly. So he finishes his dinner and pees some blood. Firmly grasps his sandpaper in hand, and some blonde, some blonde hoe is like, hey. Are you, are you feeling a little sweaty? Hey, guy, I'm doing this to you, and there's nothing much you can do about it. And then he grabs his dink, and it's crazy. It looks like this. And up his butt. In the butt. Butt. And then everybody a lot. There is hitting the camera, hitting the walls. Everybody's eating the, the guy poops a little bit, too. So human centipede and her falls out. It falls out of her. In the gas pedal of a car. And then he's on the car window. So in conclusion, I really enjoyed this motion picture. Trusted Jacob implicitly. Trusted him with every single secret I had. He was supposed to be my safe harbor. The 